to part 9 of the uh, Stuart S50 build, uh, the easy build. Uh, I'm going to show you a few little tips in this one uh, to make the life look a bit easier. Uh, we're doing the uh, slide rails and we're doing the cross head in this one. Uh, on the cross head with the, uh, the piston screws into it, uh, what we'll do is we'll actually drill that first before we actually machine the boss. If you look at the plans you'll see the little boss that's machined on it. That hole is more important than the actual boss. The boss is the uh, obviously a bit strange, but also it's just a visual thing. So the more important thing is drilling that hole, which we, we did first, you'll see on the video. And if you look at it, it's about using a little bit of backing again underneath the parallels uh, to save the parallels, uh, and also a few on how, how to set the, the, the different parts up. Um, like I said, one of them is using the, the hole we drilled in the cross head to actually use it to set us up quickly in the forward jaw for machining, but you'll see that on the video. And the big question is, um, when we originally did the, the casting in one of the early videos, we drilled the four holes where the slide rails be going off the plans, the measurements, and saying like, will these fit? Uh, so we, uh, we machined the slide rails up today. So let's have a look at the video and let's see if they'll fit. First job is the slide rails or slide bears as they're, they're more commonly known. We made it off the centre then, then the length. And then we uh, we met off the two points for drilling from the centre line. So we've, from the centre line we measured out, um, and you want to be between the centres is one and fifteen sixteenths, so which hopefully matches up to the original casting. Another one here we put uh, both the the slide rails in together um, because the parallel we're using is uh, a little bit wider than the three sixteenths that these are. Um, and we've got the stop there you can see at the end on the the milling vice and that way we can then just slide these in when it comes turning around and we know they're, they're accurate so as always set up your centre drill bit of cutting fluid and going through with the 7BA clearance hole which is 26 millimeters. and remember either move your parallel out of the way slightly which I've done here or as you'll see later we use, sometimes use a bit of packing so the drill doesn't damage your, your precious parallels I always take my time when drilling anything this fine, anything like this. There's no point rushing, clogging up your drill, breaking a drill a bit, ruining the work. Just always take your time, no particular rush. Like I said, just a little hobby thing to do in the evenings. Also, you get a better finish, I think. So, now as I say, we're going to turn it around, drill the other end. And then swap them over. The, the thing is, with this, you can do all four holes with it set on the, the vice like it is. And this is the last hole going through now. And besides marking out, we actually did a final check um, by using the, the, the dials and hand wheels. To make sure we're with that uh, 1 and 15 sixteenths of uh, you know, the bang on. centre ones. Uh, these are being drilled uh, 2.05 uh, to be tapped. Uh, 7BA for the little oil cups that we've got. We're going a little bit different than the plan here, even though I always say work to the plan. Uh, we're doing a bit, I think this was mentioned in two volcanoes, where we just put a slight taper on either side of the rails, just to look a bit nicer. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So what we're actually doing, uh, we're just machining the flaps on where the, the uh, bolts are bolting down and then we'll put the tapers on in a second which you'll see. So we'll just do the flat like this at either end. I think they went down something like 1.6 mil possibly. So we set these on an angle, uh, so we scored a line, so we've come, uh, I think it's about 15 sixteenths either side, I'm sorry, um, that'll be 3 sixteenths uh, either side of the centre orb, and we scored a line down to so just shy of the, uh, the step that we just machined in, and we'll just machine a nice tape on these, you'll see those in a minute, they'll look a bit more detail. And one little tip, we're on machining in from the end, where the, uh, the flat is in a bit you'll run out and they actually catch that so what I'll do, do later I think it's off camera there's a step machine from the, the opposite end if you will so you come in and you can just stop shy of that flat so you don't touch it with the, with the cutter I was trying to do this and show you on camera so you can see it's always sort of sometimes in the reverse order you want to do it See the just a slight little taper on either side, just a bit more pleasing to the eye. And yes, the answer is yes, they do fit. So going off the plans works. You can see it's a lovely fit. That obviously not screw the bolts down, uh, and they, they do they do fit on there. Next one is a little uh, the little post, uh, the spacer post. Quite a simple little thing. Bit of 3 sixteenths bar uh, drilled out to clear the, the 7 BS, so that's 2.6 mil, and then we, uh, we part them off. I think it's uh, 732s long each one. Once again, using that rear tool post, it's all easy to do. Nice when they just drop for the camera. And there they are, so I'll always clean them up. And there they are. Again, we're not screwed down yet. Right, the crosshead. This is the hole that I said we'd drill. So we've marked this out uh, going to the plan. Um, this hole's the important one for the height um, to line up with the cylinder where the piston rod comes through. And then the top mark, so I said where the, the steps are going to be, which will run either side of the rails. So this is a little tip I was saying about put the drill in this tail stock choke. And just hang it on there and if you look now that'll just hold it nicely while we, we line it up in the forward jaw and it gets us pretty close and then afterwards we, just, we can dial it up and just, just double check that it is where it's supposed to be we just uh, Tighten your jaws up now, just slowly bring them down till they just touch. Yeah, get a close look while you're doing this. And there it is, all four tightened up now. And you can see there's no level whatsoever in the drill bit. And what I'll do, I'll just clock that up as well. I'll put a piece of bear in that hole and just clock it just to make sure it's centered. And this is the machine in the boss. Uh, this one goes down, I think it's uh, 732s in diameter on the outside with a nice little sort of radius that we're machining. And this is also taking this down to size as well. Which from the front of the boss to the back is half an inch. And there it is with a nice little radius on the inside of it. So we machine the slots, uh, the, sorry, the, the steps at the side, it uh, goes into the, the slide rails. And this should be leaving us about a 3 8 step in the middle. <coughs> uh, or the best thing to do is what I actually did was measure the slide rails, uh, the gap between, and just give it a, a couple of thou, so a, a bit of fancy, a bit of slide play.
and we'll do the same, exactly the same on the other side. Like I said, just light cuts. Um, the mill machine will do deeper cuts, which is fine. Take a bit of extra time, lighter cuts, just get a lot better finish on, on both surfaces. Unless you find the one I've locked off the, the head there, and then that'll just give the final pass. And that should be exactly down to size. And the height of the step should be just a couple of thousand less than your, your little spaces we made before. Now what we're going to do now is machine the slot in the middle with the little end of the con rod. It'll go. And what I actually did here was put a centre drill. So I scored the centre line, put a centre drill in, lined it up with that, replaced it with the 3 16th cutter, and then we know we're bang on the centre. And there you can just see the hole appearing on the side with the, the 5BA thread and the, the piston rod will screw into. Uh, this is the, the hole that goes through, which holds the, uh, the little end, the little pin that goes through. And um, this is uh, drilled out to 0 0.089 of an inch, which is actually a number 43 uh, drill bit. There you can see, basically finished off. So he's cleaning up a bit. Take some of the sharp edges off. Like I said, drilled the pin all right through in one. Uh, but obviously to protect your pearl, like I said, just put a bit of brass underneath. You can just see that it just, just digs into that, cuts into that brass instead of your, your pearl. There it is, cleaned up. Uh, if it's perfect and nice when we finish. Obviously the pin's a little bit longer, we'll just put that in just to get it work, just show it working. And it'd be even smoother with a bit of oil. And like I said the cylinder has to be mounted on there yet. And this is showing the alignment uh, on the, the original when we did the casting. Uh, we actually machined this to, to the size on the specs, which gives you perfect alignment uh, for your, your con rod on your crank web. There you go, job done. So, as you can see, the slide reels did fit um, going after the, the original plans. Uh, it's like anything on this, we, we do a lot of these off the plans using the actual measurements and, and everything seems to fit like we did with the, the crank web um, you know, machining that, that's, that's tape if you will on the crank web just using the centre line and measuring off um, it fit and doing the same again with these going off the plans it all fits even including uh, the, uh, the con rod um, alignment by machining the face off the, the casting originally uh, it all lines up perfectly so yes Follow your, your measurements off the plan and everything seems to be working up to now. So uh, thanks for watching YouTubers. If you want like my, uh, liking and subscribing to the channel, that'll be fantastic. And uh, as always, it'll be great.